you, you jump from people getting saved in your living room to a church of about 8,000 people doing 166,000 hours of community service pretty quick. Tell us the story of the Rock Church. Well, actually, it's 13, 14,000, but... Uh, oh, excuse uh, me. <laughs> All right, yeah. Um, I became a youth pastor, and we started doing youth crusades in San Diego, and then I started teaching at night in a church, Horizon Christian Fellowship, and that grew to like 3,000, 3,500, and then when we started the church, we had 3,000 people our first day, and then... It has grown from there. So right now it's about 13, 14,000 people. We have five services, uh, seven services. And, and, and what, what's God, I mean, what's happening? Ba-boom. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I, you know, I, I still, I go in there every Sunday and I don't believe it. The, the, we, we bought a building that's the size of Noah's Ark. It's actually 450 feet long, 45 feet high, and three stories. And you see, we, we, we started the church 12 years ago. So maybe 18 years ago, God told me I was going to have a church on the Naval Training Center base. It's military land. Right. So I said, God, how are you going to do that? It's military land. He says, I know people. So <laughs> he shut the base down, and they closed it, gave it to the city for a dollar. And we ended up buying this building, and, uh, renovated it, and we've been in it four and a half years now. Tell us about the results of 166,000 hours of community service. I mean, what was, when you finished that, and I, I, it's not like it's finished because I know you're still doing stuff, but what, what kind of response did you get from the city? Yeah, we had 166,000 the first year. Last year, 2011, was 235,000. Um, we have made a lot of friends with the city, and we, go, we do exactly what I said. We go to the fire station, fire department, and say, how can we help? And... It, they're really dumbfounded because it's free service. And at first when I talked to the mayor, and understandably so, where are you going to get all this? How are you going to organize all that? And what are you going to do? And, da, da, da. and we didn't have all those answers, but we had been volunteering all the time. So now when we go to, you know, the fire station, the police station, uh, bars, or foster care, I mean, we were the highest provider of mentors for foster care. They all know we're going to deliver and we don't want anything in return. You know, we just want to love them. And so the response is that we have a lot of favor and a lot of relationships, made a lot of great friends uh, in the city and the government and in the school system. I was asked to speak at the uh, SANDAG, which is San Diego Association of Governments. Uh, San Diego County has 18 cities, 18 mayors, 18 city councils, and all the mayors and members of the city council sit on the board, so they asked me to come motivate them a couple weeks ago and I was on the phone going are you sure you know and they said yeah yeah, yeah come and you know it wasn't a bible study thing but it was more of a relational time and we had a great time but God just said he is and I told him I'm going to put a church in all your cities you know some of them are too small there's only a few thousand but we can put we want to serve all their cities and and when you just serve them and you love them it's amazing how powerful love is and we spend, when I say we, generically, Christians spend a lot of time yelling, at, yelling or accusing people or telling what's wrong instead of saying, how can I just help you and love you? And it's very powerful. Doors that would never have opened, open. What's your favorite God story from the midst of all of that work that, uh, that folks have been doing? Man, I, there's so many. I'll just tell you one that's off the top of my head. I don't know it's my favorite. I was walking out of my office and... Um, this guy walks off the elevator as I was walking down the hall. He was like 6'3", six, 6'4", six, white guy, goatee, shorts, short cut sh sweater, shorts, tattoos everywhere, hat on backwards in a backpack. And he's walking down the hall, and, and he was kind of nervous. I said, how you doing? And he said, oh, Pastor Miles, I ne we never met. I said, where are you going? He says, I'm going to my first ministry meeting. And I said, what ministry? He says, well, it's the, it's the knitting ministry. <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking, I'm like, brother, you know, you don't look like a knitter to me, okay? I'm just saying. He says, well, I don't knit, I crochet. Does that make sense, right? That makes sense. Tattoos, that way. So I said, oh, okay, I get that. I said, so where did you learn how to crochet? He said, I learned how to crochet in prison. He was in the Hells Angels for 12 years. So here's this guy sitting in church, and he's just what I described. He was in the Hells Angels. He's a whole, he has a tattoo shop, so he's covered in tattoos. He's nervous. He's walking to knit hats for little babies in the hospital. And the reason that, that, 
you know, we always tell our church, and, and what the book's about is go do something. It's go, and it has all these stories. Go do anything that God has called you to do. Take the pain that he has. You know, 2 Corinthians 1, 3 says, uh, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the God of all comfort who comforts us, that we may comfort others. How has God comforted you? You don't take that comfort and just hold it. It's not yours. He says, I've given this to you so you can comfort somebody else. So if everybody just took the comfort they got and went back to somebody else, boom, we're all outside doing something. And so that's what he decided to do. I know how to hit, knit, uh, crochet. So we're standing there, and the poster child of the, of the knitting ministry, you know, woman about 5'2", two, two little short hair, says, are you Johnny? You know, and she just grabs his hand, they walk down the hall, and he's nervous to go do this. That's it. <laughs> that's, what, you know, that's the essence of this whole thing. Great story. <laughs> hey, thank you for coming out and sharing. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. my pleasure. Miles McPherson.